They're the first generation to grow up fully aware that their planet is dying. Pretty heavy stuff for a high school kid like Grace Sham. It's really scary to think about an uncertain future. It's hard to escape daily reminders of the grim prospects humanity is facing. Everything from floods to wildfires impacting our lives more and more. Kids increasingly feeling out of control. Like pressure on our generation and on us as citizens of America and of our communities and or even in the school to work towards um, preventing climate change. Recognizing the unique difficulty students are having these days, the Bellingham School District is launching a sustainability task force that will shape the district's long-term goals to combat climate change. And that's definitely what we're hearing is the concerns and the eco-anxiety that is out there. Mark Peterson is the district's first director of facilities and sustainability. You have to set goals in order to get to where you need to be. And without a measurable goal to work towards, um, you're really just kind of shooting in the dark. I'm seeing more and more of like this hopelessness, anxiousness of, you know, the world's on fire. Brianna Longwell is a child therapist. She says she's seen kids as young as seven years old worry whether the world will go on. Longwell believes the task force is an excellent way to help kids see the good through the gloom. Because if they can take back some control in their world, you know, that's going to reduce the mental health, that's going to reduce the anxiety, that's going to increase confidence, it's going to increase sense of self and direction. As for Grace, she's applied to be on the task force, hoping to become part of the solution generation. And it makes me feel really excited and really hopeful to be able to collaborate potentially with lots of different people to work towards a common goal. In Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.